Hi everyone, refresh our quest 2 for PC VR. That's the question I want to answer today. There are only three reasons I can see to choose a refresh over quest 2 in 2021 and only one may be a real deal breaker. For most people, the refresh with the Halo design is a much more comfortable headset for long gaming sessions. But since I have added this back pad on my Quest 2 strap, it is now much more comfortable than before for me. I couldn't find a way to make my Quest 1 fully comfortable even with the multiple accessories that I tried. It was better, but it was never like fully great or fully comfortable. I am now able to play for long sessions with my Quest 2 without any problems. It is also possible to buy a new strap for the Quest 2 from a third party or from Oculus to make it even more comfortable if you want. It's even possible to add one that has the same Halo design as the Refest. So really, I don't think comfort is a big reason to choose the Refest over the Quest 2. Second reason is the lenses. The Refest seems to have better lenses for whatever reason. The sweet spot seems to be bigger and there are fewer god rays. There may also be some defective lenses on early Quest 2 units that could explain some of the disappointment about that. But again, if you have a good Quest 2 like the vast majority of buyers, it's not a reason to buy the Refest. Let's not forget that the Refest doesn't even have an IPD adjustment, none, so many VR players can't even use it. It's far from being perfect on the Quest 2 and I'm one of them as I'm like between two settings so I have to put the slider between the position 1 and 2. It works but it's not optimal and I don't like that Oculus has taken the cost cutting decision to make this IPD adjustment bad but anyhow this is how we get a $299 Quest 2. So it's certainly better on the Quest 1. The Quest 1 was perfect for almost everybody. Quest 2, some limitations. Refs, only certain person can play it. The third and final reason is the only real one for me. The only one you should really care about at this point. It's performances. The Refs is a native PC VR headset. The Quest 2 isn't. The video encoding that is necessary for the Oculus Link or even virtual desktop if you are using Wi-Fi is using a lot of power. With my PC, I can estimate it to be about uh, 10 to 15% in some games. This is maybe the worst case uh, scenario, but still, it's, it's still a lot of PC power and that's the overhead to pay to use the Oculus Link. But it's not over. The Quest 2 resolution is very high, almost 4K. It's much more than the Refest, like a lot more. That is really good in theory, but only if you are able to run the games. For example, my PC is running a GTX 1070 Ti and an all i5 CPU. With the Refest, I was able to run about any games, even the, the most demanding sim games. With the Quest 2, it's no more the case unfortunately. I can change some settings to make the Quest 2 work better, but the Refes has better visuals when doing so. So if your PC is not the latest beast, be prepared to have some disappointments with the bigger games on the Quest 2. And about performances of the Oculus Link, I have a video to, to resolve some problems about that. And it's very popular and if you look at the comments, the number of people having problems with with the link uh, to, to have smooth performances. It's really a problem with the Oculus Link compared with native PC VR. Having said all of this, there is no other reasons to consider a refresh at this time. The Quest 2 is just a better headset or at least a better buy. Oculus is fully supporting the Quest 2. It's their baby. They want it to succeed. The, the future of VR for them is all on the Quest 2. The Refest, they don't care about it. Uh, they will even stop selling it. It will still continue to work, but don't expect new functions and things like that in the future. The Refest is dying. 
With a good PC or simple games, the Quest 2 using Oculus Link has the best visuals right now with almost no screen door effect. It's a game changer. The Quest 2 can even be played wirelessly using virtual desktop. Yes, you can play your PC games without any wires with a good Wi-Fi setup. The Quest 2 is worth it just for that reason alone for many players. Let's not forget that the Quest 2 is also a gaming console. Why would you need a gaming console if you have a VR-ready PC? Because some games are just better natively on the Quest. Playing table tennis or Beat Saber wirelessly with zero latency is just the best for these fast-paced games. So, which one should you buy now that we are in 2021? The Quest 2 hands down. The only reason not to do so is the lack of power of your PC, which can be a big reason. Like for me with the Quest 2, many games I cannot play them. That's unfortunate. <laughs> should you upgrade from a Refest to a Quest 2? I will say no at the moment, however, except if you can make the upgrade for a small amount of money by selling your Refest at a good price, or if you want to play Quest 2 games, then you don't have the choice. So thank you all, merci à tous, please think about subscribing and liking this video, ciao!